Okie doke. Well, this is a video I don't think I should should be having to make, but I didn't, uh, yet again, I don't um, focus on all the warning lights and whatnot that the, um, the camcorder keeps giving me, and it constantly was giving me this little yellow flashing thing, and I thought, oh, why the heck is it telling me it's, uh, there's a lighting issue or too close or whatever, I wasn't paying attention. And uh, it was warning me that I was running out of uh, mem memory. So I will post the video that I did previously to this, but it's basically like 20 minutes of me moving strength points around going, the 54th did this and the 14th did that and blah, 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 blah. So this will be like a quickie, what the heck happened, uh, if you don't want to watch the other one, I hope. Um, so what, basically, yeah, I decided to switch gears and go towards the, um, and deal with the First Army and the Special Corps 1 movement so I can just get away, maybe just a bit more optimistic, a bit simpler to deal with. Um, they have no supply points, but they have a ton of replacement points, which used to be in Kovno, and I moved them over, uh, Special Corps 1 with the nine strength points of replacement units move them over to here to start positioning the main strategy right now is To secure this double rail line and just hunker down and make like a nice little crescent or something here and just stick stay put um, I did uh, What else so we and then moved some of the troops around over to here? Uh, the fourth Don Cossack division was over here. They've uh, uh, joined up with these guys so everybody's uh, uh, the two German units are isolated still um, a massive amount of a massive shift of uh, troops along the front here uh, it's extremely difficult to get people in and out now of this uh, area due to the fact that there's enemy zones to control with the river and woods and that trench so it's difficult um, did spread out the line a bit, a little bit here, uh, using divisional breakdown yet again on the sixth Siberian division that was over here. Their recent re uh, recent reinforcement. Um, but the beautiful thing right now is Renan Camp and Rosenshield have you know effectively these guys are going to go for sure, and all these guys are now going to be able to be you know swap uh, brought towards here to reinforce this p position. They'll have nine strength points. And I don't know if you can see these, but uh, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see the numbers. Um, hold on here. There. So we've now, sh I mean, that used to be two strength points previous turn. Um, where can you see? Oh, here, they have my way off. Oh, it's that silly menu button. There we go. So now it's, you know, we've now got seven strength points, seven strength points, seven, seven, and three. And effectively with the Russian one-third, excuse me, retreat, um, uh, force retreat on inflicted hits, except for the trench, because you need the number of strength points they have to force them to retreat. <clears throat> so that's three hits, three hits, three hits, three hits, three hits. Not bad. Um... Yeah, okay, maybe the Germans can bring a lot of uh, troops and supply to bear to, you know, manage to hit one or two, but all of them? And look how far away the Russians are from the border. That's massive. Um, the odds of uh, the Germans being able to get them out of there anytime soon? Doubtful. Anyways, yeah, so I'll post this and then I'll, I'll post the other one, which will be like just... A little bit more ad nauseum kind of thing. Okay, I hope you're having a great Sunday.